everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're doing well today. We're going to make some of our own die cuts. Sometimes it's fun to just make these and then you can go ahead and put them on cards and things as you're uh, creating. And it's pretty easy to do. You just need some watercolors of some sort or watercolor markers. I just have a brush and my Prima Pastel Dreams, which is one of my favorite collections from the Prima uh, Confection uh, Watercolor. Oops, they've slid all around there, but delicious colors there. And then you just need a, a pen that won't bleed when it's dry. So I, I like this Rotring uh, Graphic 0.4 pigmented ink, and I get these on jet pens. And uh, we're just going to draw some simple, easy to cut out shapes. So I've got a little envelope here and then um, a little flower. So um, very easy to do. So let's go ahead and draw those first because they have to dry. So to make the uh, flower or something like it, okay, you just want to start with the middle and then we're just going to kind of go out. You can make these in different styles um, and then whatever details you add to them will be seen through because we're using transparent watercolor. Um, you could certainly do other mediums with this, but um, whatever works for you, okay. Making our loose leaves there. And we'll do a three, three leaves there. Okay, and that's drying. So we'll go ahead and do our little envelope. I always start with the flowers first, um, just because it helps um, kind of center everything. So just making a small flower cluster here with a leaf or two. A lot smaller scale, like a little swirly rose type thing. Okay, and then maybe some filled in ink. Just play around with whatever looks right to you. This is a little bit messy, but. Um, and then once you have your little cluster, we're going to kind of draw the envelope around it. So it's obviously going to come out like this and then the point of the envelope behind there, it's like we've stuffed it with flowers. And then the part where you fold up, so we're going to go down like this, make our basic shape and then there's the flap that folds up. So we're just going to draw that in. And then like that, and of course, you want to go under. And maybe we'll fill that in a little bit more. Okay. It can be kind of messy because uh, it, it's meant to be a loose idea there. So let's go ahead. This is, by the way, uh, Canson Bristol. I like it when I'm doing um, things for cards because it's bright white opposed to watercolor paper, which is... is a little bit of an off-white color. Uh, normally, if I'm paint making a painting, I use watercolor paper, but uh, the Bristol is nice for card making, stamping, because it's very smooth uh, and then still can hold the medium. So that's just what I like to do. So you can use your favorite watercolors for this. I'm going to set these aside. Creamy colors here. You can be very loose with it. That way, if you have something you want to draw, like a little coffee cup or something, or if you want to draw a bicycle, or just just whatever, um, that you're not limited by the die cuts that you have. Um, we all love the few fun little cute die cuts, but you know you can draw. Let me do the leaves on this one. And I'm gonna mix a green here because I don't have a good leafy green, so I'm gonna take that brown and some of this here, put some more yellow in there, making kind of a lime green, I like that, a little more brown in there. So it's nice you can play around with that and come up with a color that you like. And then we're just gonna basically coloring in. You can use color pencils, intense pencils, all of that would be great. up some of that color. If you use just a wet clear brush you can pick that up. Okay. 
and we're gonna let that dry uh, while we're thinking of it you know there are other things you can draw like little cats you know if you want to make like a little cat cute cat All very simple shapes. Easy things to draw. You know, you can do fun doodly things. So anything that you're looking for there. To, I messed up his whiskers. It's going to go like that. <laughs> okay, and then you would wash something, an easy shape to cut around, unless you're really good at fussy cutting, which I'm not. <laughs> but, um, and then you can put those on cards and make a cute little handmade card. So we've got some pink over here. Pick some of that up. some yellow out here we have let's do some purple that goes well with I'm not doing a good job cleaning my brush today I don't know what it is <laughs> Let me pick that up Just a loose, loose watercolor there. Not thinking too hard about it. I need a little blue in there. I feel like that's not. Let's turn that into a blue one. And then you can dab. Make it light. Since it's a white envelope, we'll do a little splatter. Okay, and then we just cut those out. And then you get your pieces. You can leave a white border. I did try it earlier with, you know, going outside the lines and making a color border. It's okay, but I think I prefer the white border around there. So, I mean, you could do it that way. I just watercolored outside the line and then that way you don't have any white, but um, I think, I think I like that. I don't know. <laughs> you do what you like, but um, anyways, I hope that gives you a little idea. Just get some fun drawing done and uh, let them dry. You can mass produce this or you could do something you watching a family movie or something, um, something that you can do, uh, kind of a no-brainer situation. <laughs> we always like that, huh? Um, and uh, yeah, you know, get yourself some die cuts and have fun drawing at the same time. Hopefully you enjoyed that little video, and if you do, please give a like and subscribe. It's an easy, free way to support an artist. You have the links below. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.